This is Mickey. Bar W Day Lily Farm. We're getting ready to plant a pick a few sweet taters. Now most of you know I told you that I did not get to fertilize these. So I don't know what they're gonna do or anything. But we'll find out together. I lost heart on them. This year, uh, most of you know that uh, I lost, we, me and Kim lost our oldest son this year, and so you'll have to forgive me. So I've got three tubs to do. I think I got enough of time on this in here to do this one, this one tub, we'll find out. So far, I ain't pulled no taters up. So, we will find out together. There's a little obedient. I'll give it to the goats. If nothing else, I got goat feed. Yeah, nothing else. I got good feet. Uh, and got a pretty good pile of it. Zeke will love this. Then the other two I'll take in the Jazzy and the two babies. I got some good, good feet. Got almost a bucket. That's good. Alright, let's start over here. <laughs> see some real, real small ones, but I don't see no big ones yet. That's pretty good. I got one here if I can get it out. There it comes. That's a fire one. Good eating size. I'll keep them. Hers and none. It's eating size. Next year I'll do better. Another small one. Here's some if I can get them out. Little old bitty, and I'll throw it in there for a, get a slip out of this year. But if I don't, if it goes dead on me before I get every, all this done. I will show you what I got. There's another small one. Another small one. Need Luke and James here. They love digging these things out. Another small one make a few taters or slips out of that. Huh, here's, there's one that'll, that'll eat. That one there will eat. Getting a little bigger. 
Another small one. Another small one. That and I'll eat too. It ain't as big as what I want, but, but guess what? As long as I got a tater to eat, I am happy. Man, they swim in things deep. Oh, there's a nice one. Not real, real big. That's about the size I like to eat them. There's another small one. I can make a slip out of a piece of one. Another small one. There's another small one. There's one big enough to eat. Big enough to eat. That'll make a slip. You may be asking me why I'm fooling with these little ones. Well, I gotta have something to make slips out of next year. There's one for slip. I gotta have something to, to slip, so I'll use all them little obedience for that. Huh. Ain't looking good. There's a little one. Here's another little one. Another little one. Looks like I might go hunt a shovel. Small one. Uh, another small one. Oh, that and our lead. That and there'll eat. There's another one that'll eat. They ain't real big, but they're good enough to get me some more out of next year. And I'll have enough. <laughs> it's funny, last year I didn't have enough stuff for, uh, didn't have no pumpkin pie, so we made, what is it, sweet potato pies. This year, don't look like I'm gonna get any sweet potato pie, but it looks like I'm gonna get plenty of pumpkin pies. But that's fine. Thank you, Lord, for what I'm getting. Ours pretty nice, being up to eat. Ours nothing being up to eat. Little old dinky, another dinky. There's one big enough to eat. Another one. I can at least get a few slips. 
clips out of them. She goes dead on me. I'll, I will show you what I got. But it'll probably be all three of them, but that, that'll be fine too. I got about half of them done. That nerd's not too bad. There's one. Another small one. Another small one. Well, that and there's not too bad. That and there leak. That and there. Get hungry enough, it'll eat. That and there will too. It's little. There's nothing. Another one. There's one leak. Start to get into a few now. There's one that leaked. Uh, if nothing else, I got enough though to get me a, some slips next year, and I know what I've done wrong. Because I didn't fertilize a one of these. Give me. I'll do better next year. Because I'm going to get these beds ready for next year. I gotta put some more dirt in them. Still getting a few taters though to eat. Uh, let's put it this way. There's one. If they had it done as good as what I was planning on doing, I would have had a bunch of taters.
Mark one ain't big enough to eat. Nothing is big enough to eat. There's a slip. Make another slip. Ain't big enough to eat. worth picking up for me because I'll eat with me we will eat them uh, put them in there for some slips I'll show you what I got you can see them they didn't do as good as what they used normally do but that's on account I didn't get the to uh, fertilize them Keep them watered like I needed to. It ain't a total failure, but it's not as good as what I wanted. So, just thought I'd let you know how they done. I've still got two more tubs to do. I'll get them done today. And I'll show them to you too. And, uh, I still got a row down there in the pasture. I don't know if they done anything or not. Uh, if it done anything, I'll show you. I didn't get to work in nary time. I was they were just getting up big enough to work. I got them all plowed out. Was getting ready to fertilize them and everything. That's when tragedy hit. So hope y'all understand. I'll try to do better next year and. Uh, I will have to show you my tomato plants in there later. They are getting humongous. These are the patio tomatoes. And the buckets are already up about like it, a couple of them. So I'm really tickled with them. Well, this is Mickey. I'm on let, Well, let's say a word of prayer first. Lord, ask the Lord that you just take and bless our viewers and our subscribers, Lord. Lord, if any of them's got needs, we ask the Lord that you will touch them. Meet their needs, Lord, whatever they may be. And Lord, we just want to thank you, God, for everything that you've done for us. And Lord, we thank you for everything because, Lord, we can't do it on our own. And Lord, we just praise you, God. And Lord, I just want to thank you for everything that you've done for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I'm going to tell you thank you for your, for your support. Thank my subscribers and our viewers. Please do hit that notification bell. Hit that like button, subscribe, share. And I mean, we ain't nothing but a little old bitty farm, a little farmer. Mainly mess with daylilies. I try to show you stuff on gardening. I try to show you on our kick -o goes. I'm just like a rest of you. I'm doing, me and Kim's mainly doing it on our own. Everyone, I don't pay nobody to come up here and help me. Unless it's one of my grandsons and I'll give him just a few dollars for helping. And, uh. And I've got a neighbor that comes and helps me. It's mainly just friends that comes and helps us. Uh, but it's not on a big scale like you see these big farms. They'll show that, hey, I've got, you see what all I'm doing? And you find out later, guess what? They didn't do it. They had people come in and do it. I'm not that way. If I've got, if I'm doing stuff and it's not me in my family or somebody helping me, I ain't gonna tell you I've got I'm doing it all in when uh, uh, when I've got I've paid help to come help me do it. That's not right. I'm just just like the rest of you. I'm right now. I'm retired. I, I get, the money I get is on my retirement, and my wife re has retired. She's got that. She works three days a week where she works at, and. What we, what we make on on daylilies, which ain't a whole lot, uh, that's it. We're not, we're not no big time farmer. We're not no real, real big thing going, but honestly, the one that mainly takes care of us is the good Lord. 
and I hope y'all realize that because I couldn't do I couldn't do it without him. Good. Uh, uh, when I was 49 years old, I had open heart surgery. The Lord touched me. I took and uh, ended up going back to work in four weeks. And most of you are probably going to say, "Ain't no way." They split me from here to here, put an AR to valve in. Uh, but I did go back. I didn't do physical work, but I was working in computer room, getting it ready to go, telling the men what I needed done. I was able to do uh, the work I should have been doing, but instead of doing a lot of the other work. But the Lord has blessed me. He's kept me safe. Uh, he's met our needs. And I'll be honest with you, they say it's been times that me and my wife's wondered how we could make it. And you know something? The Lord makes a way. So I'm telling you, I don't see this day and time, I don't see how you can make it without the Lord. And uh, it's a little testimony too, so. But please do. Help us out. We'd appreciate it. You have a wonderful day. Bye.